My name is John David Washington, and this is The First Time. The first time I was starstruck is when I met Morgan Freeman because I had watched the movie Glory just a thousand times plus, and I had every line memorized. I knew every character, all the backstories. I knew the war sequences. I knew everything. I know, because I dug the grave. And all the time I'm digging, I'm asking myself when, when, oh Lord, is going to be our time. The way he was in that movie, he just, he, he had this like very father figure-like um, energy to him and, and characteristic. So when I got to meet him finally, I just, I lost it. You know, I, I wanted him to say his lines, I asked him for an autograph. I didn't get the autograph though. It was crazy actually. It was the pilot for Ballers um, aired when I was in New York with some friends and, and we went out and uh, there, was a, there was a gentleman that uh, said, oh, you're despicable. I love it. <laughs> he, the, the character Ricky Jarrett. Let's have a party. Give me the TV remote, get some popcorn and some liquor. So I guess, you know, being despicable is, is a positive in the community. I guess I did my job. So uh, that was the first time. That depends. Uh, I scored plenty of touchdowns in, in my uncle's backyard in North Carolina. I must have been maybe five or six years old when I scored a touchdown in the backyard. But organized team activity, the first time I, I scored a touchdown, I think I was 13, South Valley Panthers. It was a fullback dive up the middle and I scored. It was, it was an amazing feeling. It was a very proud moment for me. My first New York City experience, well, the first time I, I, I had been on an airplane by myself, I was. 13 and I went to visit my grandmother. It wasn't the first time I was there, but it was the first real experience I felt like I had because I wasn't with my parents or with my siblings. I was with my grandma and my other cousin who are from there. And um, I just remember how, how cool it was just to be able to walk around the city like that, like for a whole day. We spent the whole day outside. My grandma let me play a pickup game when we came back to Mount Vernon. And, uh, and I was doing well that she yelled at me to say, let's go hurry up, get in the house or get in the apartment, it's time to go. And I was having one of those great games too. I was having a moment, but uh, <laughs> that's a very fond memory. That, that's, that's why I consider that my first. But I mean, I was there my first time. I don't remember, I was a, I was a baby. And then I had other times that fragmented in my uh, memory, like my, my father um, walking us around Central Park while he recited lines for um, Richard III. Uh, it's the first time I saw him on stage. And that's when I re really uh, fell in love with acting when I saw him do that. The first time I stepped on a movie set that I could remember was the movie Glory. We were with the final battle scene and I was sitting with my mom, I guess we're in Video, Video Village, and I see my father coming up out of the flames and ashes in the night in his blue Union suit looking very heroic. And he looks at me and he says, uh, you wanna come down, you wanna see it? And I, I, was, I was giddy, I was very excited, and I turned to my mother and I, and I asked her, can I go, can I go? And she said no, she shut me down. So that's why I will never forget that. My mom shut my dreams down. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I read the Tenet script, coming off a, a wild buzz of an excitement of knowing that I got the job, I remember going to their office, Christopher Nolan's office. I saw all the like these interstellar posters and and Batman, you know, figures, and it was like I, I was in his lair. It felt like it was it was amazing. It was like I felt like I was behind the curtain of Oz. And I pulled out my iPad, played some classical music, and I read for about four and a half hours. I kept turning the pages back and forth. I couldn't understand how he was gonna pull this off. And I wanted to make sure I understood what I was reading. I did not until <laughs> later. It was one of the happiest moments ever of my life, just, just in that moment, reading a Christopher Nolan script. It was a hero of mine, and, um, and knowing that I was gonna be a part of it.